Guys, Rich at the Collector Car Gallery in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're doing a video here for one of our potential online buyers. Um, we, uh, just like all of our videos, I'm just gonna kind of do a, a general walk around of the car, <clears throat> looking at the condition of everything. You know, 99% of our cars here are sold sight unseen to the, to the um, buyer, and no one has ever gotten anything that they didn't expect from me, and I really, I take pride in that. Uh, but a lot of it is these videos, you know, I show every little thing like I'm the one buying the car again. So just like all of our videos, uh, we're going to start here at the uh, driver's side front fender of the car and uh, give her a good once over. So uh, chrome on the front bumper right here. This all looks very nice. Um, all th this chrome insert here usually is really always pitted on Lincoln's. This one looks very good. In all areas right there too looks really really nice uh, chrome bezel around the light looks good got some real real light surface surface uh, scratches on it but it looks good the lens looks good let's see front grill piece looks great I don't see any pits nothing in the uh, in the teeth of the grill here that all looks good um, I got some real little peppering, so like on this, on the front headlight area. So like I'm like arms reach away from the car right now. And you know, most people would say, oh my gosh, what are you talking about? It looks great. When you get right up on it, <coughs> this is a big flat front part of the car here. And this is an original paint car, okay? So that has some serious value in my opinion. Uh, it's only original once. But all this little peppering right here, you can kind of see it when I really come in. See that? Uh, you can't see it when you're standing up by the car, but when you get down here real close, it's just little little stone uh, chips that have hit the front of the car on the headlights. Um, other than that, the, uh, let's see. Let's pop the hood here for you guys. Oops. Oh, gosh. Pardon me. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Pop the hood here for you. All this looks great. Very original. That's what we like to see on a car like this. Really original stuff. Uh, we also like to see that nothing's ever been apart. Like you see, none of these have ever been apart. Nothing, the paint's not spun off underneath this. You know, all looks really, really original. Yeah, very tidy under here. Just original looking, okay? Factory air. Air blows ice cold on this car. Got a few little uh, hood inserts that are a little chewed up, okay? Uh, you know, exhaust beats on it or, you know, whatever it is. So, yeah, looks good. Very nice under here. Okay. Uh, fit of the hood looks pretty good. Really nice. Yep, no stories there. Looks great. I don't see any uh, big paint blemishes or dents and dings or anything all over it. Pardon me. As we look down the driver's side of the car, again, this is all original paint. Looks very nice as we look down the side of the car. A couple spots on the car, and I'll show you. Um, I'm a little dusty right now also, but a couple spots on the car. You can tell that a detailer got maybe a little too aggressive, right? And like this right here, you can see where you just got a little, see that? You probably have to be a professional to notice it, but you know, I notice it. Um, forward fit of the door looks good. All oh, these stainless spears look great. This one looks really, really good, killer. Um, the door, Top spear looks good. The top spear on the rear quarter looks great. I love the Lincolns when they used to put this here to monogram your car. That was really cool. I got one little stone chip right here. Okay, you can see I'm standing up next to the car right now. And once you get down close, you can see about how big it is. <clears throat> Vinyl top. This looks new to me. Uh, this looks like it's brand new. 
I don't I don't think this is a I I do not think this is a um a 40 year old 50 year old uh 50 50 at least jeez 50 year old top on this car so looks very nice back here in the rear quarter you can see another little bitty chip right there another little spot where maybe a detailer got a little too aggressive okay I wouldn't mess with this stuff though okay I mean it's only original once so you know I wouldn't get too carried away rear chrome looks excellent very very nice all the chrome lettering looks good trunk fit is incredible I, I don't expect it, it not to be a very good fit all over on the car the car's never been apart so you know this is kind of a drag I got one little flake of the top of the chrome off so that first layer of chrome flaked off on this somehow for some reason yeah it just flaked off these usually look like garbage on all Lincolns okay and this these look great on and the lenses too look great on this car really good again it's very hard to find these where they're not screwed up so this these look great and I don't expect anything different the car's never been apart so another little stone chip this yellow pinstripe uh, that's hand painted on so that could probably be taken off it's actually more of a gold yeah again this this top is looking really good rear fit of the back door looks great whoops oh wow Look how heavy that door, you should, if I, I wish you guys could feel this door, how heavy it is and how solid it shuts. But look at this. You want to talk about never being messed with and never having a paint job on anything. Wow. Wow. Original weather strip looking great. Look under here. Look at this. Oops, let me get this camera. Wow. Wow. Look at that. How nice is that? Looks really good. All the window felt looks good. Looks very nice in the inner 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 uh, front fender of the car. All this looks great. Just a little a little chalky. That's all. Wow. We're gonna look at this door panel real quick too, and then this passenger seat, and then we'll go around and check the interior and the rest of the car. But because it's kind of I don't want to get walk around the car too many times here. Look at this. How nice is that? Wow. Wow. Like new. Okay. Incredible. Passenger seat here looks like it's never been sat in. Okay. I mean. Where are you going to find a car that doesn't have any wear on any of this piping? No wear on any of the piping anywhere. Nothing. You know? Look at the back of this seat. Not dry rotted, not cracked. Look at this. Are you kidding me? How nice is this? Courtesy light working in the back. Headliner stretch tight. Package tray up in the back looks nice. This interior is cool. It's like a bird. It's like a. It's like an ox blood. Ox blood metallic. You know, looks great. <clears throat> Dash looks good. No stories. Oh, look at. Wow. I could tell you this thing was two years old, and it would. You'd believe me. So, get this weather strip up here too. Look how nice this looks. Right? That looks good. Okay, driver's side front fender. No stories here. Another little stone chip right there. 
Looks like a little aggressive detailer right here too. Kind of knock this edge off a little bit. Same with up here. Little spot right there. Okay. I that that wouldn't bother me on a car like this. Same thing up here. You know, detailer gets his wheel moving across this and this old single stage paint. Front, uh, just similar to the other one, to the other the other one. This one's just a little dusty, so not quite as bad because we got a little dust on this one. There must have been a car in front of it at one time, so I'm gonna clean that crap off. But you can see here some of the same just peppering. I I mean I wouldn't do it, but it'd be easy just to paint the, the headlights, but I wouldn't do it. How cool is it those work though? Like right, they get held shut by the vacuum. Again, this chrome right here, always pitted on a Lincoln. Always. This stuff, always bad. This looks great. That one little bumperette back there in the back is the only little spot that I can see on this whole car that kind of had a little piece flick off. And uh, at least it's the bumperette and not the whole bumper, you know? So you could just take just that little bumperette and get it redone, and it would really match everything. Like, like you see what I'm talking about here? Like, this is a separate piece. So this little bumperette could just be taken off and get redone. So really nice though. Let's go inside the car, okay? Look how nice this is, right? Really nice. Really good looking stuff. All these stainless pieces. <clears throat> Looks really good on this car. Driver's side door. How cool is this? I mean, original, original, original. Really nice looking uh, armrest. We got the, the, uh, the pole here. We got one little split in it. It's kind of a shame. Hmm. Probably wouldn't mess with it though. Okay. Sill plate looks good. Carpet looks good. You know, oh, let's look at the seat. Here's what we'd expect to see on a car this age. Actually, you expect to see a lot worse than this, but, but <clears throat> all this looks great. Rear looks great. I mean, no, no stories. Maybe a little, a little blemish right there. Something that just kind of just needs tucked in. But this we got a little bit of wear right here. You can see. That's about what I expect for for you know a really really nice uh, car. Also, look at this dash. I mean, where are you gonna find a dash that looks that good? It just, it just hardly ever happens. Steering wheel looks great. Not cracked anywhere. Oh, we got one little one little shrinking spot right there. You can kind of see. This is a rim blow steering wheel though too guys, and I think it still works. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, uh, let's fire it up real quick. Starts right up. AC I know does blow cold on this car. Um, so here's the thing also. Uh, windows on the car, driver and passenger windows are working. Right now, rear windows are not working from their position in the back seat, okay? So the rear windows are not going up and down. Either uh, they're not going up and down from the from their rear position, and they're not going up and down from my position either, okay? The drivers. So likely a motor issue. Um, I'm certainly willing to uh, work with a prospective buyer uh, because of this issue. Uh, look at this, too. Look at this. All these dummy lights are working. How cool, right? How neat. Good deal. Okay, guys. <clears throat> and like we said, the odometer is showing 30, uh, excuse me, 32,000 miles. So. <clears throat> very nice car, very, very original car. Uh, 
And, you know, aside from some window motors and stuff, I don't want to make a lot of excuses for this car because I'm really, really pleased with it. So, all right, guys. <clears throat> Rich here at the Collector Car Gallery in Fort Wayne, Indiana, doing one of our videos. All right, so give me a holler if you want to see anything additional uh, and look for this video and its little partner video of the underside of this vehicle also. So thanks a lot. Bye.